I am Jaap Warmenhoven. I am a musician. I'm also a consultant. Um, I work with a consultancy firm in the Netherlands. It's called Twijnstra Gudde. And um, I'm also you a singer of the Benelux. My whole life I've lived in between different worlds. Like I'm a middle child. And uh, also for now for 10 years I've been as well a musician as a consultant. Um, I used to think this might be a problem. How do I combine these? But since three years, um, uh, I now made it my main job to be exactly in between those two worlds. I'm founder of Genkunst, um, which is a company within the company of Twijnstra And we use uh, artists and social designers to solve wicked problems for organizations and um, for society. This summer I got the chance to talk to the 2013 group of Armani Institute about what leaders um, can learn from artists. Uh, this was a very inspiring moment. We sat down near Ngiro River in, the, in central Kenya uh, amongst some bushes and we talked about um, leadership and artists. I don't think any leader needs to be, well, every leader needs to be an artist. Well, the world would be beautiful, but maybe not, um, not even a better place to live. What I do think is that leaders can learn from artists. Um, and my main uh, takeaway from the workshop, from this talk to the Amani students, was that um, I think leaders can learn from artists to be sensitive to what I call the undercurrents in organization and in communities. Um, and this undercurrent is about the things that we normally in the world of organizations and consultancy have little eye for. It's not the rational, it's not the smart, it's not the goal-oriented, it's not the efficient or the effective. It's the fringes of our projects. It's the irrational, it's the emotional, it's the things that you can see, that you can feel, but that you often don't hear from people. Um, it's this world, or this world beneath the world, this undercurrent, that artists are very sensitive to. And um, we use that in our projects, and uh, it was very inspiring to talk to the Amani group about this, and um, uh, inspire them. So. Um, this summer I got to meet uh, Elena Gigi Roshan of the Amani Institute. Um, very young, very wise uh, people um, who are uh, who have a really ambitious goal with the Amani Institute. Um, and that is uh, to, from the start, uh, from, from this first group in 2013 on, to uh, set a really high standard in the quality of the workshops and the quality of the different um, speakers of every part of the course. But simultaneously, um, they are very open to new ideas, um, very open to rethink the practice of education. And I was very impressed by this. Um, I think also it might be quite necessary to uh, go, go about it in that way, um, in a rapidly changing global environment. Um, I really hope to um, uh, work together with the Amani Institute in the future. Uh, I hope to keep see uh, the group of 2014 uh, and uh, to see the team of Amani soon and be back in Kenya soon again.